Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry, I'm Morris of Lures. Good morning, super cold today. Uh, feels like 25, it's not pleasant. Anyway, listen to this one. You guys know I always have interesting adventures. Um, so I was watching a football game yesterday. Uh, Baker Mayfield sucks. Anyway, a person texted me on Facebook Marketplace, Messenger, and uh, she says, Henry, the tractor doesn't work anymore. If you'd like to come and get it, we're gonna throw it to the curb. So I'm thinking to myself, is this a recent tractor that I just sold that doesn't work? And they're not even gonna bother me about it, you know? They just wanna say, hey, you can have it back. For free! Anyway, I looked at the thread on the conversation and it was the same thread that we used two years ago. So I scrolled up, you know, and looked at the whole history behind it and then I vaguely remember it now. It was the Scots by John Deere hauler that I made. It, it didn't have a deck because it's kind of hard to get a John Deere, Scots by John Deere deck, you know, the orange kind. As a matter of fact, this is the tractor. Remember that? And great, I think it had a Kohler Command in it or something, right? Didn't have a deck, just a hauler. They used it to haul uh, a trailer around their barn where they have horses, you know, for hay and dirt and whatever. You know, I sold it for uh, 300 bucks and I charged them $75 to deliver it because it's in Selden, Long Island. A good half an hour drive, round trip an hour. So I got 375 out of that deal. So I'm on my way now. The barn is very far from the driveway and it won't run. So to push it, I kill myself. She said I could pull my van right up to the barn and we'll just winch it up. In case something I need to, I've got my air compressor and jumper pack and my small tire inflator. Uh, I should be able to get right to the tractor and we'll pull it up and then we'll bring it back home and find out what's wrong with it. I love these adventures. Hey, okay, so I'm here. Uh, in Selden, I'm at their house and a uh, lady remembers me and she's very nice. She says I can videotape if, uh, if I want because she remembers I am a YouTuber. Uh, ooh, I got my ramps here, uh, cleared out, ready to go. And so here's what it looks like. So I backed into their driveway and they had these two big gates here. And as you guys may remember the episode, they have horses over there. And here's a barn and the stables over there. Uh, I don't want to take too long because the horses may stop feeding and <laughs> try to run out, you know? Anyway, here it is. It's the uh, Scots by John Deere, 1542. The uh, front left is down. Uh, the rears seem okay. They said they used it a, a few times and then one year it just didn't start and it served its purpose, they said because they, they used it for whatever and uh, they, they got use out of it and uh, they don't need it anymore and it doesn't start. So uh, I, they're giving it back to me and I was right. It is a 15 horsepower Kohler Command and um, it doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. I mean, a really long time. So, I mean, I don't remember it being so rusted over here, do you? <laughs> but, uh, that's pretty toasty right there. But anywho, I'm gonna pump up that front left tire and I believe it rolls. And I'll just roll it backwards into the van and uh, we'll be good to go. So 
when I tried to pump up this tire with my tire inflator, uh, it wasn't doing any progress and I so noticed that the back was off its bead. So I tried to push it to bead it and the front bead came off. So without ratchet straps and a possibility and, and more powerful jolt of air in there, it's not going to inflate. With this trickle uh, inflator, it's not going to work. Uh, I mean, it might, but it may take a bit, and I figured I could just, you know, it'll go up, and I could work on it when I get home. All right, there we go. So uh, it's ready to be taken home, and uh, we'll go figure out that uh, left front tire bead thing, and maybe try to get this thing started, huh? Uh, it doesn't look like it would take much. I don't think they used it very much at all. I mean, look, all these years, three tires are still fully inflated. Uh, I have to go and uh, try to get uh, some money for these uh, batteries that I have. Um, Advanced Auto Parts gives you $10 for a battery, store credit. Okay, uh, I just let her know that I'm uh, ready to leave. You don't want to just leave, you know, they want to make sure that you left everything right. I helped her close the garage and the gates and all that stuff, and a uh, very nice lady. Wish her a happy uh, Merry Christmas and happy holidays. And now uh, we're going to drive half an hour back home, and we'll, uh, well, first I'm going to go stop by and see if I can get some credit for those batteries. I'm going to go home. We'll figure out what's wrong with this thing and see if we can get it started. So on the way home, I passed by my local Advanced Auto Parts. This is the closest one to my house. And so I had turned in seven old batteries. Two car batteries, one being my Mercedes AGM battery. Uh, and the other ones were just dead lawn tractor batteries, right? And I had two motorcycle batteries that he also gave me $10 for. So a total of $70 worth of gift cards, right? 70 bucks worth of gift cards. And I figured I'd buy, use some of the credit and buy a battery in case I need it for my lawn tractor. So this was 40 bucks. It used to be like 25 bucks or something. Uh, it's a 160 CCA. So, you know, maximum crankage 200, but um, 160 cold cranking apps the U1 Lawn Tractor Series. So this was $39.99, and then the core charge of $10, but I had $70 on here, so it was all good. Uh, I mean, I got those batteries for free, so essentially this is free, and I still have like $20-something credit. All right, now I'm on my way home. I'm gonna stop by Taco Bell, and then we're gonna unload this. Hey, okay, so I'm back home. I'm gonna unload it. just gonna push it out and I'll fix the tire when it's out I was thinking about getting rid of the van because it's kind of an eyesore in front of my house not to mention it's only two seats in it so I wanted to get maybe an f-150 pickup truck you know full cab the one with the five seats in it or a humvee a hummer a hummer three or a hummer two i was going to get the military humvee but they're all like twenty five thousand thirty thousand in good shape and they only go like 55 miles an hour can't even push it with that tire down like that. I'm gonna have to try to swap out another tire. It won't even roll forward at all.
So I got this Toro wheel out of my shed. It was off the beat also, but it was easy to fill it up again and it's no leaks. That's the old one right there I took off. And uh, look, it doesn't fit. The hub is too long. I have to go find another one. Scratch that, uh, I was able to, I was able to uh, put air in that tire on the bead, look at it split, and it uh, looks like it's holding air, so. Put the original tire back on there again. Okay, seriously, what a pain in the ass. Uh, tried to put the old tire back on, but it was missing the back part of the wheel. The back part? So I just took out this, this old one here, you know, the back part of it because it was hollow and uh couldn't use this one because this one doesn't have a thing so i decided to put a thing there but i didn't want to have to break the bead to put this thing in there i guess i will but uh what a pain uh so anyway now it's we got a good tire on here well not really i have a feeling i put atf in there when i first gave it to him because when it the beat came off a lot of atf came out of it and the only person i know that does atf is me so I sold this to him. I'm sure I, I was a one and it held there for a couple of years. So it's out of hold. So uh, she gave me the key. <laughs> Should we just try to put a jump starter to it and see if it cranks over? All right, I got my jumper pack out. Of course, if you sit on this thing, you'll get ganaria, so. I'm gonna put the key in just to see. How do you lock this thing? Oh, well, you can't. Of course it's dead! Oh, what if this is hydrostatic? jumper on all right and just uh, put the jumper on let's see you guys see the crank how about it cranks that's good not strong enough. I guess it might have been good enough to start, right? Let's check the Earl. Good Earl. Look at that, guys. Clean to the line as if he never used it. Uh, I guarantee you he did not use the fuel shutoff that's over here and uh, turn it off and run it dry. Actually, the fuel doesn't smell too bad. Uh, maybe we should take off the air cleaner and blow some jism in it. <laughs> jism, I love it. Yeah, let's blow some jism in here and see if it'll turn over. Okay. I know the carburetor's gotta be dirty. All right, here we go. Got some jism. Jism? Yes, that's right, jism. I don't think it's called jism.
I'll, uh, I guess I'll list it, uh, maybe. There you go. That's, that's awesome, huh? Nothing wrong with it. So how about that, guys, huh? Went to go pick up my old tractor that I sold two years ago. All it was was a dead battery and a bad front wheel. It's all that's wrong with it. Uh, drove it back into the shed. So essentially... They paid me three seventy-five dollars for them to lease it for two years. <laughs> and I take it back. So I've got a hauler now. No idea what I want to do with it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'd make a mud mower out of it like uh, next spring or something. You know, put some big tires on it. Maybe get one of those big pulleys on there. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, surprisingly, two uh, years of it, you know, over there, the guy definitely doesn't winterize it so i mean after a little bit of primer if i'd run up and you know honestly it sounded pretty good you know um battery's dead i tried starting it again after i shut it off in the shed it wouldn't click it just clicked you know so it was charging but i think the battery is just dead. I, mean, I really should take that out and try to recharge it again but I'll, I'll probably do that after after i talk to you guys but uh great episode isn't it uh great day also just gonna go pick up a tractor i sold two years ago got it back here fired right up no problem you know i mean you know <laughs> pretty much no problem um so got a hauler thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode guys have a happy holiday continue to buy those stickers donate a buck or two you can find all those links at mowersblowers.com we'll see you guys next time on mowers and blowers his name's henry um mowers and blowers mowers and blowers <laughs> <laughs>